Well, now talking to Devin Patel, who is the CEO, co-founder, and the business development head with GeoStar. Now, Dev, you're wearing a lot of hats. Pick one and tell me how you got started. Well, I'll pick CEO, you know, who's going to come first and who's going to clean up all the mess and go home last. So that's, that's what I do. That's a typical CEO of a startup. That's right. Uh, when did this get started? We started, uh, I would say, 16 years ago, but Geostar, which is a global institute of stem cell therapy and research, started in 2008, so about eight years ago. So we won't call it a startup, but we're still, every day we would like to call ourselves startup because that's where the excitement is. Well, you said 16 years. I got a little bit confused no, because no. you didn't look 16 yourself, <laughs> and now the company is 16 years old. Now walk me through that journey. It started at a very spiritual juncture at Dr. An and our chairman and co-founder, the stem cell scientist and the leading stem cell scientist in the United States. Uh, we met in the temple. Wow. And in a temple, he basically told me one day that, hey, Devin, I'm working on this science, which is very new, very unknown. I don't know where it's going to go, but I'm getting this uh, uh, vibrations here that I should talk to you and see if what you can do with it. So, so that's how it started. It's almost like mixing religion with science. No, I mean, I would, that's a very uh, difficult combination. I would call it a divine intervention in its literal sense in <laughs> <Okay>. our temple. <laughs> okay. And then what happened after that? And basically journey started from there because his vision is basically this stem cell science is the most advanced, most expensive and most elite science of our age. And he said he wants to make it available to the masses. So our vision is very simple. It's the most advanced and elite and expensive science. We wanted to make it available to the masses, which is the uphill task. But that's what we decided to do, and that's what we are doing. And the way it became, the true vision came in reality when we spoke to our Prime Minister of India, Narendra Modi ji. And, uh, Basically, he said, in Gujarat at that time, there are so many tribal people who are suffering from sickle cell anemia. And he said, you guys are the one who are working in this very advanced field of stem cell. Can you help? And that's how the whole journey started. And that was the music to my ears that make it available to the masses because he said, I have thousands and thousands of people. So fast forwarding so many years now, now we're building world's largest stem cell treatment hospital so in wait a Gujarat. Minute. Um, you found this most complex medicine, which is the most expensive. For a science. And, and, and science. And you wanted to make it available to the poorest people and the masses. I mean, that is a very tall ambition. We basically started, uh, started working and talking to the world governments to help them develop stem cell research programs, stem cell transplant programs, stem cell policies for their countries because it's a new science. Mm -hmm. And our vision to work with the governments allows us to act make it available to the masses. Uh, but I was curious to find out in your business journey, was there any obstacle? That there are many, 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 many obstacles, not just one obstacles. First, how do you finance it? Then how do you make it available to the masses? Like, for example, in India, uh, just simple example, all these tribal people that we are trying to uh, work with in, in Surat or Gujarat area, you know, they live in a very remote areas. First of all, how do you access them? And how do you explain them this very advanced science that going to help or could help? They may say, oh, this is a voodoo science. This is a, you know, something that you're doing. We don't know. So first, of, first process is to offer education. Uh, we have to work with the local people. It's a grassroots effort to educate them and say, hey, please come to this place where you can get an information. Once that's done, then it's easier for them to come to the receiving more where they said, okay, maybe we should try, maybe we should wanted to know about it or we should maybe go for it.